النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مع صديق له من البادية اسمه زاهر ابن حرام زاهر كان من البادية كان صلى يقول زاهر باديتنا ونحن حاضره فكان يأتي للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وخاصة بالهدايا من البادية السمن واللبن والأشياء التي لا ربما توجد لا توجد عندهم وكان النبي صلى إذا ذهب يزوده بالتمر واللباس وهكذا يذهب جاءه يوما فلم يجده فذهب إلى السوق فلما أخبر صلى وسلم ذهب في إثره فوجده في السوق واقفا على بعض متاعه فجاءه من الخلف فاحتضنه صلى الله عليه وسلم وقيل أنه أغمض يعني له عينيه فصار يقول من هذا من هذا أرسلني أرسلني اطلبني فلما عرف أنه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سبحان الله صار يلصق ظهره بصدر رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فالنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ورفع صوته من يشتري هذا العبد فقال إذا تجدني كاسدا يا رسول الله قال إنك عند الله كثير بل إنك عند الله كثير فانظر إلى صور لمزاحه صلى الله عليه وسلم The book صلى الله عليه وسلم all the time tried to put you know that happiness in the heart of his you know beloved and those that he loved them صلى الله عليه وسلم he loved his sahaba and he loved everybody you know that you know very very simple and humble man you should you know love him and you know him and you be close to him صلى الله عليه وسلم one day um, an old lady came to the book صلى الله عليه وسلم and said Oh Messenger of Allah, make dua for me to enter Jannah. He said, Jannah not for the, an old lady. Jannah not for an old lady. Old lady cannot enter Jannah. <laughs> she starts crying. The Prophet ask, ask her to come back. Why? Having heard what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Inna anshallahuna insha'a, we brought them back, you know, in a young age. If you be enter Jannah, you will never be an old lady. What are you going to do for Jannah? If you're an old lady, you're back, back down, and you have a stick, and you have a bag of you know, drugs, and you talk over the night, and nurse beside you, and what's the entertainment for Jannah? What's the pleasure? You know, if you enter Jannah, you will be in young age, you know, in a good age, 30, 30, around that, according to different generations. But you know, there is no Jannah for an old one. And as I said, be aware from that the old ladies you have, you know, respect them, the ajais, you have to respect them because their dua, as mentioned in the hadith, you know, acceptable. You know, you should respect them. Don't say, oh, they are old fashioned, old ones. No, you respect, you know, everybody. Um, this one lady, Hajjaz, took her son and uh, she was requesting him to release him. He said, no. And she asked again, he said, no. She said, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy you and give you punishment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after that, immediately brought to him like a, a problem, and habba, a problem, you know, swelling and a problem in his body. He couldn't even sleep overnight, subhanAllah. I, I share with you like, you know, a story happened with me for my grandmother. She passed away. Uh, one time ago uh, in the last days of Ramadan. And she, subhanallah, she was caring about the prayer, nothing important for her except the prayer. Yeah, when she pray, she will ask for what next prayer. Even when you put that satellite and having different channels, our brothers, they try to move from channel to other channel to find suitable programs. One time, like they put in, a, in Dubai channel. And this Adan, she will start to pray. She said, no, it's not our time. She's in Dubai, she said, no, 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 this Adan, I, will ha I have to pray. And then after five minutes, they turned to the other channel, you know, like Abu Dhabi. She, when there is a dam there, she will start again. You may be something like she will pray like 10 times as Aisha, I didn't know. But the problem for Fajr, not for Aisha. We used to step with her, and then, you know, because we need to help her, like, you know, overnight, she would need any help. But she, you know what? After five minutes, she will wake up us. Is Fajr time now? I said, no, my mother, not now. And she will go back. After half an hour, is that fight, you know, Fajr time now? Said, no, we, if that Fajr, we're gonna tell you, it's not now. And she keep asking this, if anyone step to him, he will never go to bed, you know, he will never step that night. But we have problem now, because we get tired next day, we said we have to solve this. One of us, he brought a you know, nice idea, he said, how about if we make alarm, big alarm, nice one for her, 
beside her head and fix it for a step budget time and that's it. Yes, we said, that's fine. We brought it and put it in his head, her head. We said, my mom, you know, my you know, grandma, you know, this is alarm when the train, that's mean fashion time. That's fine? Yes, that's fine. And now we slept there, and after five minutes, she wake up us and she said, Is the alarm ring? <laughs> you know, okay, and the story you know work on and you know, you know the end, you know what happened. But alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them. Um, that's our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how it, what he was. One time, his, one of his nursing mother, her name, Um Ayman, Barakah. And Prophet sallam, four ladies, they, uh, they, he, he drank milk from them. His mother, Amina, uh, one of the slaves of his, uh, his uncle, Abu Lahab, her name, Thuwayba, and Halima Sa'diya, you know her story? And uh, the fourth one, Um Ayman, you know, Barakah. Um, one, one day she asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to give her a ride because she's all day she wants like a ride. He said, okay, I will give you a baby camel. 